Reading two weeks. I'm wondering, and I'm George. And this is Couscous. You're welcome back to the Wimilco of Couscous. So this is Joffrey Baratheon, many people. Because it's like a false king, but like lots of them. Yes, because that S at the end means it's plural. Yes. So this is false kings by monochromatic black, and we're fairly certain it's got nothing to do with Joffrey Baratheon. Well, I am. I can't. I can't vouch for anything that's happening in that skull or this one, for that matter. I can't vouch for what's going on in there. Nothing. It's empty. Right. So their latest single, "Hail the Queen." Yes, Queen. Was um, it was a lot, and um, they were hailing the Queen, but the kings are false. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Karate in the pit. That is very satisfying for many reasons. I think WoW kind of does it, right? Yeah, yeah, WoW kind of does it. WoW. We subscribe to the WoW. Yes, because WoW. And we don't mean World of Warcraft. No, no, we don't. This was their most constant song. Yes. Yes, that's what I was going to say. It's like... Chunky and catchy. Yeah, you guys don't do catchy. Even melodic. 
but it still it still had the same rumble grumble on the guitars. Rumble grumble rumble grumble yes. rumble grumble. And uh, it still had the same visceral vocal tone that I absolutely love. Um, and it still had technical flurries in there, but they were like details. Yes, they weren't the core of the song. Yes, that was so cool. And I do feel like because the instrumental was in many ways more constant, that the vocals gave more variety to the song than they usually do. Yeah. The vocals are usually conditioned by that very disruptive pattern that they have to flow on with this yeah. band. Yeah. But that was a really cool change of pace and uh, very very karate in the pitable. Yes. It's the kind of thing where you it gives you the stink face when it starts and then you can't take it off until it ends. I actually don't know if I did that. Do let me know in the comments. If there was any second throughout the video that I didn't have a stink face. And if I didn't, I'm disqualified. Doesn't matter from what. I'm just disqualified. I like that it's kind of a way of saying, if you come to our shows, there's going to be a pit. If you come to our shows, you're going to get the shit out of you. And that's good. Because that's what should happen at a show for a band like this. Man, I saw that pit. I just wanted to jump in the screen. Yeah, me too. I thought, you see those guys? Those guys who are trying to get things rowdy there? That's me. Yes. If I see them live, I'm doing that. Yes. Even if it has consequences on my head. Yes. This was very nice. It was really cool. I, I, I love the whole club club aesthetic and, and that they're obviously, since they're not a big band, playing these like more intimate type shows. Yes. With music that extreme. That's that's just a match made in heaven. Yeah. I want. Or in hell. And yes. I'm jealous. Want. Are we done here? No. So if you enjoyed, yeah. so if you enjoyed this reaction, we'd greatly appreciate the likes and shares. Stop laughing. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe with bells on. Thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed your stay. We'd love to see you back at the windmill very soon. Wipe that spark off your face. Wipe it. Curse it out. Good.